Toy Story. Wow, what a groundbreaking movie with groundbreaking animation for the time. Oh, damn, they made a second one? Cool, Toy Story 2. And arguably, you could say it's even better than the first one. Oh, wait, they made a third one? Really? Okay, I guess I'll give it a watch. You know, you know what? That was actually pretty good. You know, that's like a perfect trilogy. Like, they should definitely leave this untouched. Wait, wait, wait what's that? What's that? Oh, uh, Toy Story, Toy Story 4. Right. It was a movie, I guess. It was, it was, it was okay. But anyway, time to wash your hands now. Get some new con- Wait, what's that? Lightyear. Right, so it's another Toy Story. How long? How long before the Slinky Dog spin-off TV show on Disney Plus? Disney, Disney, Disney. There's been a lot of people making videos about Disney for different things. For example, Disney have been releasing a lot of their own movies theatrically, but a lot of Pixar's movies on Disney Plus and nothing behind a paywall. And they're gonna do it with the next Pixar movie, Turning Red. And it's like, hey Disney, why are you just chucking all of Pixar's movies onto Disney Plus as if they're just straight for TV movies, as if a lot of people didn't work on that, but then chucking all your own movies out into theaters, cinemas. You could argue because they just thought Encanto would do way better than Luca, but I guess we'll never know. I'm not actually here about that in particular. We all know that Disney own everything and can do what they want. If you don't know who Disney are, congratulations. You must be a time traveler. You're from the past. That's not possible. Disney is everywhere and it's everything. Um, I kind of just want to talk about the fact that, you know, Encanto. Encanto, a movie I thought was okay. I would probably give it like a six and a half, seven out of ten. It didn't blow me away. In a similar way that Shang-Chi I thought was okay and had a lot of hype. I was originally going to make a video about Encanto and be like, oh, I didn't think it was that great and kind of explain why, but and I thought, why? Why? I'm not that passionate about feeling meh about it. So why make a video? And you know, just, just, I've kind of realized, just let people enjoy their thing. Everyone seems to really like Encanto. That's fine. People can like it. I need to come through, you know, bad vibes. You know what I mean? Bad vibes. Um, I felt similar with Shang-Chi. And I guess it's just kind of like, in entertainment movies, when so many movies that came out were, were made for the same people, with the same looking people in the movies, with the same stories, it's no surprise that when movies like Shang-Chi, Encanto, and Black Panther come out, that people are really excited about them and really like them. Because not only are they movies that diversify their characters in terms of how they look like and where they're from, meaning they can connect with a wider audience, but in terms of the struggles and the themes of the movie as well. So there's a bit of depth to it as well. And so I get why they do well. I've even been seeing people make videos on the fact that people have been attaching sexualities and trying to say this character's a representative of our community or this and that. And I don't I don't care. People can have their head cannons for these fictional kids movies. I don't, you know what I mean? It's it's fine, you know? Yeah, so I don't really mind about all that stuff. The one thing that I did see that pissed me off was this. No, 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 no. Why can't we just have a good thing? Why can't that just be a thing that we make and it's good and we leave it there? But as we know, money. And if these companies can capitalize on more money selling more toys, then they're gonna do it. You know, Frozen 2 and all of this and all of that. I mean, Cars is a trilogy for crying out loud. But I just think some stories are their own contained story, their own perfect little thing, and they don't need a second movie that could potentially diminish it. Leave it as it is and let people enjoy it. Soul is a movie that should not have a second, for example. And I would argue if it made more money, there would be talks of it and that's mental because there's no talks of it now but if the movie is good enough for, for a sequel you think a story should be told in the sequel then i think soul should have a sequel but it doesn't need one if encanto made a hundred less million pounds there would be no talks of a sequel i don't think because i don't think it needs a sequel i think it's enough of a complete story as it is make a new original story when i look back at pixar movies from the beginning that i really liked i know i'm mixing up disney movies with pixar movies but i'm thinking them all as the same under the same umbrella i look like ratatouille finding nemo toy story incredibles monsters inc a life and it was like we're releasing creative movies one-offs we're just gonna chuck one-offs out there perfect beautiful kids movies adults can enjoy as well and i know that toy story had sequels in there and i know cars now has a trilogy and i know incredibles now has a sequel and monsters inc now has a prequel but it's like these weren't things at the start you know and i know toy story did at the start but the others you know Toy Story is its anomaly, is the anomaly basically, because it's Toy Story. Pixar still make good movies and still one-off movies, but I feel like it's a slippery slope if we give Encanto a sequel. I feel like it's the start of something I don't want. I don't, because at the time even, Ratatouille is like one of my favorite movies. I would never want a Ratatouille 2. A Ratatouille, I can see it already. Oh my God, the marketing. I think also mainly what I'd speak about in terms of Encanto, when you have a nice minimal hold movie, right? There is no win-win scenario when dealing with a company like Disney. Best case scenario is Encanto stays as a one-off. 
right? Because what? You bring out Encanto 2 and what happens? It does really badly. Maybe it taints your experience of the first one. Maybe they do some things with the characters that you just feel the characters wouldn't do. Takes them to places you just disagree with. Or just feels like a cash grab waste of time. Or the movie could do well and you could feel like, wow, this was a perfect sequel. Nice, nice, nice. But then once you have a perfect sequel, then you have a Toy Story situation where it's like, we're going to go on and just cr use these characters till we can't stop using them no more. Where it's like, I don't think, like Lightyear looks like, stylistically looks really cool. And I like the David Bowie in the background and it looks like it's going to be a good movie, right? I'm just like, yeah, okay. I like Toy Story 3 and I liked Toy Story 4 enough and I'm sure I'll like Lightyear, right? And all five of those will be good movies. So why not make them? But it's just like the time we spend making these same movies is the time we could have been spending making the next up or making the next Ratatouille or making the next Monsters, Inc. Like three incredibly different and original movies. But instead we're sticking with the same franchise in the same company. And I know the movies are still that are still being produced are still good but it's like it's not new and it's not fresh in any way and i want to keep seeing new fresh things and i feel like if we just keep with the sequels it's either we're going to keep making sequels that are bad or sequels that are good which are just going to blow up into more toy story franchises i don't know i just don't really want that from companies like pixar Le leave that to illumination i don't know and i'm not even speaking as someone who liked encanto that much but please don't make a sequel if you liked this video if you liked encanto if you think disney are our overlords go put a like thanks for watching